Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the Acara C1 Automatic Smart Pet Feeder. Now, Acara have very kindly sent me this to review for you guys, but whenever a company reaches out and says we want to send you something, or we're going to send you something for free for you to review, I always say yes, that's great if the product fits with this channel, but I will always make an honest review. And I make that really clear to companies. And even last week, I had a company emailing me about sending me a product, and as soon as I said, that's fine, but I'm going to make an honest review, I never heard from them again. And I think that's really important to share with you guys because I want you to know that whether I'm sent something for free to review or whether it's something I've purchased myself, you're always going to get an honest opinion. But let's get to the review of this Acara C1 pet feeder and talk about price to start with. Now this retails at about £100, which is obviously quite expensive compared to buying something like a food bowl for your pet, but it is packed with features and compatibility. And actually all of these features, and especially the smart features, might make it the perfect accessory for your pet, especially if you go away for weekends. And actually all of those features that it packs in, I'm going to talk about throughout this video, means that if you go away for weekends, or maybe work away from home during the day, this might be the perfect accessory for your pet. So let's continue and talk about the design of this. So this item is quite big because it does have a large tank for storing biscuits in, but it does have quite a nice white design. As you can see, basically the main body is white, it's got a black section on the front, and then the feeder is this kind of frosted white. That front section has three buttons on and an indicator light, which you can switch off in the app. Those three buttons are a voice record button, a reset button, and a feed button. You can also disable that feed button in the app if you don't want your pets to be able to press it, or maybe children in the house. Personally, I'm still living in hope that the cat might work out how to press it, because that would be really cool. It does have these nice rounded edges, and then the front has the bowl attachment and a metal bowl which comes with it. Now this is quite a large product, but actually it does have a big tank in it. And actually I think that means this is a really good accessory because you're not gonna have to worry about filling it up all the time. I also think with a design that depending where you put it, it's not gonna look out of place at all. So let's talk about the specification. So in the box, you get the device itself, you get that metal bowl, and you also get a USB-A to sort of nine volt style charging lead. I'm not really sure what that connector's called, but it's certainly not a standard one, and I do think it's a shame this isn't powered by something like USB-C. It's also worth saying that this doesn't come with a charging brick, but any kind of USB-A charging brick you've got laying around, perhaps from an old phone, will work with this. It also takes 3D batteries, which you can run it off, but really they're designed to be used as a backup in case it is a power cut. I haven't even bothered to put these in just because they're unusual sized batteries, but it is just something worth noting. Now this device works on the Zigbee 3 protocol, which means you are going to need an Akara hub to go with it. Now there are a variety of Acara devices that do act as hubs, and I already have their G3 camera, which actually I reviewed on this channel recently. Now that camera does also act as an Acara Zigbee hub, and so I was just able to pair the pet feeder with that nice and easily. And it's using it with the hub that supports things like scheduled feeding and remote access. It also logs the food in grams, so the idea is that the first time you use it, you take a portion and weigh that. From there, you can adjust how much one portion weighs in the app, and in the future, you know how many grams of food your cat is eating. Of course, if you've got more than one cat, you're not going to be able to measure how much each cat is eating. This is perhaps useful if you want to maintain a diet for your cat. And as I said, that tank is massive, and it has a 4 litre capacity, which is huge. And a really great thing is it's got a really tight seal on top, which means it keeps all of the biscuits inside nice and fresh. It also has a built-in microphone, which you can use with that microphone button on the front to record a message. This message will then fire when the food comes out, perhaps calling your cat to come and get dinner. This is something you do on the device itself, and not via the Acara app. And then of course there are parts that are going to need cleaning as time goes on, and you can detach all of those. That's things like the plastic tank, the food bowl, and also the rubber dispenser. And then finally it's compatible with a variety of third-party services. That includes Amazon and Google voice assistants, IFTTT, and SmartThings. Now it's not natively HomeKit compatible, but it is Siri Shortcut compatible. You can also export scenes from the Acara app into the Apple Home app. That means for things like triggering a feed using your voice or using the Apple Home app, you can actually achieve this really easily. Siri feed cat. So let's briefly talk about setup. So setup is super easy. All you really need to do is attach the food bowl to the body and get it plugged in. From there, you're going to want to head into the Acara app and set up an account if you don't have one already and hit the plus at the top. At this point, you want to find the pet feeder in that list, and it will talk you through the process of getting it into pairing mode. During that process, you're also going to bind it to a hub in your house. So if you've got many hubs, you'll have to choose which one. But for me, it was just choosing a G3 camera. From there, you can go in and configure the feeding programs if you want to as well. This includes setting the times of day and the number of portions to be dispatched at that time. 
You can of course choose how often this happens as well, so perhaps you only want it on auto feed at a weekend or during the week. What you can't do is have different plans depend on the day of the week or whether it's a weekend or not. However, because you can set up those scenes with the Apple Home app, in theory you could create a series of very complicated scenes in the Apple Automations tab and achieve that. Personally, I just think regular setup in the Akara app is good enough for most people. So let's talk about using this, because I have been using this for about a week now. And for the most part, the way I've been using it when I haven't been trying to test it out for you guys is just using the scheduled feeds. I've got it set up so it puts out three portions three times a day. And really, this is just to keep that bowl topped up rather than having a whole portion of dinner at once. This is because my cat is a bit of a grazer rather than eating everything at once. This means the biscuits in the bowl are generally kept fresh, but also there's always food available. I found that these feeding schedules work well every single time, and there's even a tick in the app to show you that it's happened. Of course, this is especially useful if you're away from home. If you create a scene in the Akara app, you can then export that scene to Siri Shortcuts or the Apple Home app. That means you can then control this device with your voice, or even with the Apple Home app directly. And of course, if it's in the Apple Home app as a scene, you can trigger it with other automations. For example, maybe you only want the food to be dispatched if you're away from home. That means maybe you want a shortcut that says when the last person leaves, switch on the feeding program, and when the first person arrives home, switch it off. That means when you're at home, you're in charge of feeding the cat, and when you're away, it just happens automatically. You can also use the automations part of your car app to do things based on the state of the feeder. For example, you can ask the G3 camera to turn to the feeder once feeding has been activated. You can also set up things such as if the camera hasn't detected motion near the feeder since the last feed, don't do the next feed. That means it will only dispatch biscuits if the last ones have been eaten. And really, you can make these as complicated as you like. And one of the things I really like is the integration with the camera because I think it's a really nice touch to have. Of course, how useful it is will depend on the position you have your camera. And I actually moved mine so I could test it with this for a little bit and get some footage for you guys which you're seeing. But most of the time it's out of view of the feeder. The only feature I think is actually missing from this product is the ability to tell you when the tank is empty. But all in all, what's the verdict on the Akara C1 pet feeder? Whilst this price point is quite high for an automatic feeder, I think the smart features and all the things it packs in actually make it worthwhile. Of course, if you don't already have something that acts as an Akara hub, you're going to need to factor that into your purchase as well. But overall, I do think this is just a great product. It's really reliable, it works well, and it means if you do use it for something like a cat rather than dog, you can just easily go away for a weekend and know that your cat is going to have plenty of food. This of course perhaps takes the pressure off your regular cat sitter if you're a friend, or saves you some money if it's a cat sitter you pay. And if you've got something like the Akara G3 camera, you can keep an eye on the cat as well. And of course that massive tank means that the biscuits are always kept fresh, and you don't have to have as many in the bowl because they're always going to be topped up. This is a great way of making sure the food for your pet is always nice and fresh. And actually the way I've been using it is just to always keep that schedule on, because I think it's nice and useful just having it running automatically during the day. I also think this would be a great product for some mobility issues in a pet. Especially if you're the sort of person who perhaps struggles to bend down a lot to top of a cat bowl all the time. Using this would basically mean you have to fill up that tank maybe once every few weeks, and that would be it. If you guys have got any questions, do stick them below, because this is a product I'm going to keep using. If you do want to pick one up, I have put a link below. I've also put a link below to the Akara G3 camera, which you've seen footage from in this video, and I've got a full review of that on this channel as well. It works as a perfect kind of camera and partner hub to this device. Those links are affiliate links, which will take you through to Amazon in whichever country you're in. That means if you make a purchase, it will just help this channel out and I'll get a very small percentage of what you spend. This isn't a channel I get paid for full time, it's just something I do in my spare time to share tech reviews with you guys, so if you do use that link, thank you very much and I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys again soon.